Welcome everybody in the sixth section of Spring 5 tutorial. And this section will be an introduction to Spring model view controller pattern. The shortcut is MVC. So we'll be looking at the MVC pattern, we will be looking at the Spring integration with that pattern, and we will be looking at the flow of processing when we create an application and define flow of our application and logic in that pattern. And this is a first video and it will be an introduction to Spring MVC. We will be looking at the MVC pattern, what a controller is, what a model is and what a view is in that pattern. So MVC is a software pattern for implementing user interfaces on computers, so programs that implement user interfaces. Applications that are written according to that pattern divides an application into three interconnected parts. This is done to separate internal representation of information from the ways information is presented to and accepted from the user. The MVC design pattern decouples these major components allowing for efficient code reuse and parallel development. So some team can be responsible for creating view, some for controllers, some for models. So model is database layer, controller is a business logic, and view is a view that is presented on the user interface to our users. And in that pattern, we have three major components. First is a model. This is one of the most important components in that pattern because model has all data for our application. So in our travel application, as we remember, the travel was our model. We have a controller that receives a request from users, uses those requests and manipulates model. So our user is able to create, for example, new travel. So we implemented in previous video controller that accepts an user input and create new model. We can also implement modification of model or deleting it. On the other side, we have a user that wants to see the updates. So if the model is updated, it can return some view that is populated with that updated data. So user is able to see that view and updates to model in our view. And model is a central component of the pattern. It expresses the application's behavior in terms of the problem domain and is independent of the user interface. It manages the data, logic and rules of the application. It stores the data that is retrieved according to commands from the controller and it displayed it in the view. View, on the other hand, generates new output to the user based on changes in the model. It stores data that is retrieved according to commands from the controller and displayed in the view. And it could be any output representation of information, such as chart or a diagram. Multiple views of the same information are possible, such as a bar chart for management and tabular view for accountants, for example, and both views will be using same model. Controller accepts inputs and convert it to command for the model or view. And it can send commands to the model to update the model state. For example, when user is editing a document, it can also send commands to the associated view to change the views presentation of the model. For example, scrolling through a document, movement of document or something like this. 